Another daily tip. When taking a shower, do you have more water come out of the spout than the shower head? I'm also willing to bet your garbage disposal stinks, and this is part of the reason. Yeah, there's some stank under there. Mm -hmm. While we're on the topic of stank, let's go over how to get rid of the bathroom vanity stinks too. Good morning, thanks for joining us, and let's get after it. Let's go over a few maintenance things on these garbage disposals. Let's start by dumping a bunch of ice down there, and we're gonna add a bunch of soap. All right, go ahead and put the stopper in. You don't wanna take one of those to the eye. Let that garbage disposal run for a few seconds, turn it into a slushy. That'll clean the inside and sharpen those blades. All right, now let's jump into why these bathroom vanities stink so bad. Let's start by removing these nuts. These pee traps can hold a lot of junk, so let's get that cleaned out. And here's the biggest problem I have with these pop-up drains. Well, it's the pop-up. That darn rod goes through the center of the drain. Of course, that catches hair and then restricts the flow of water, which then doesn't allow the P-trap to flush properly. So let's go ahead and get rid of that, and we're going to install a push-button drain. The installation on these things is so easy. Drop the top in, and now simply put the nut on the bottom side. There's not even a need for silicone or plumber's putty. Now simply put the P-trap back on how you had it, and there you go. Look how handy that thing is. And of course, no more flow issue. Okay, okay, I get it. Not everybody wants to put in a push-button drain. So let's go over how to clean that part of the drain without changing it out. Get a bunch of hot water, get a bunch out soap down through there let that pipe get nice and hot and break down all that grease and anything else that's in there all right let's go ahead and take the trap off now now we're going to take the rod out that operates the pop-up drain and that's just a small nut on the back side there so now that that's not restricting the path so what we can do now is we're going to use a paper towel and a dowel just go ahead and keep pushing until it comes out the bottom well and don't puke <laughs> all right lastly let's take care of that shower this is called your shower diverter some just twist on and some have this allen key you can simply pull it off you can either lube that up or you can replace it super quick and super cheap like and follow for